handling is going well. Hello YouTube. This is Augustus Larch. And uh, I wanted to speak a little uh, on current events and about Ron Paul again. And about how he's against the Federal Reserve. Let me see what the Federal Reserve does. It's tied in with the income tax and it collects about nine hundred billion dollars a year. You know where that money goes? It's already spent. It goes to pay out the national deficit that is mostly owed to the private banking cartels. So, have you kept your eyes open out there in the world to look around and see how things are going? Well, doesn't it look like there's just nine hundred billion dollars of money just evaporating into nowhere? I mean, the currency belongs to the people, right? And then in 1913 they decided, like the Rockefellers and those guys that got bit by the antitrust laws from the government, uh, let's do this other thing for the government. Let's get our right people in there and lobby. Uh, with something in mind, an agenda. And we'll use this agenda to enslave the American people and make them employees when we should be working for them. See, a bank can bond itself. A bank can operate and do just fine with uh, greenback currency or currency backed by gold, but they decide not to. And I'm not saying all banks are like that. I think my local bank's pretty much bonded. But it has to use Federal Reserve notes and be in the Federal Reserve system to operate. And there's a lot of banks out there that are just mismanaged and uh, they give loans to people who can't afford them. And uh, they foreclose on people and take their property and they're just, uh, they're robber barons. And uh, you watch the news, it's like they're supposed to do that. What, what, what happened to this country? What's wrong with the nation when it doesn't understand or doesn't say anything? There's a few people out there, but there's so few. And we get Ron Paul, someone that they just demonize. Why would they demonize? He's a quiet, well-mannered obstetrician from Texas. And they make him out like he's a demon. Why? Because he doesn't want to go attack Iran? Oh, that Iraq thing went so well. And Afghanistan, too. Oh, let me see. The thing with Iraq... In Afghanistan, see, in Iraq, it's a secular country. The women uh, don't have to cover up. Uh, they've got, they can speak in public. They can have a business, drive a car. In Afghanistan, it's fundamentalist, Islamic. There, uh, they just treat their women like dirt. I don't know if that's in the Quran or not. You can fill that in the comment section if you know. But now we're going to Iran, which is bigger than both of those countries, and is filled with. Islamic fanatics. And don't you think more will show up if the Americans decide to attack them? Oh, you want to deal with 77 or more divisions of Islamic fanatics, America, and go in there with the same policy used in Iraq and Afghanistan? I mean, we are the bad. The Amer United States government is evil. The bad guys. Been for years since back in the opium wars when they ran gunboats up. Chinese rivers and force them to buy opium, something that they didn't want to buy, uh, infringing on their sovereignty, sending in people to destabilize their government, put in people like Chiang Kai-shek just because he was non-communist. He was pretty much a colonial colonial puppet. That's what uh, Chiang Kai-shek was. And Madame Kai-shek really ran things. But anyway, I want you to understand. Oh. What does that do to inflation? <laughs> what does that do when people have to file income tax and it's their own private business? It says in the Constitution that taxes should be a, a, a fairly appropriate appropriation and uh, not a direct tax. And you, taxing wages, that's like being an employee to the government, a government that's evil and just wants to run you into the ground. This is Augustus Larch. Some things for you to think about. Leave something in the comments section. Thank you for watching YouTube.